Something else I didn't know is that 50% of Americans say they or someone in their household lost their job or they lost hours due to the coronavirus pandemic's impact on the economy. It's staggering. These are numbers that have not been seen since the Great Depression, which nobody running around today lived through. We see these stories growing up about how horrible it was. No food to eat, couldn't pay your rent, couldn't move around, you were stuck. You were begging for a way to survive. And we haven't seen an economic disruption this big since then. This is a catastrophe economically, and your viewers know it because everybody's broke. So, Barry, I got to ask you, look, you're an international guy. You're a big international business guy, attorney, securities expert. Why are people not calling this what it is? It's a depression. We are in a depression. The definition has to do with how many quarters in a row the contraction of the economy happens. This is an unnatural disruption. I don't care if you're a Republican, Democrat, liberal, or conservative, whatever your political persuasion, everybody knew about three months ago, America was hitting on all cylinders. Highest unemployment for every statistical category in American history. And that's all been wiped out. It's unbelievable. Now, we don't know what to call it. This is an artificial stoppage of all commerce. What does that do? Puts everybody out of work, sticks everybody at home. People are spending their savings and wiping out their credit card debt, or sorry, their credit card limits in order to survive and put food on the table for tomorrow. Barry, how do we, how do we fix this thing? Where does it go from here? How do we fix it? Let people go back to work. Let people out of their houses. Let people have a job. Go to a restaurant. Go to the movies. Have a business. Be able to transact business. That's what drives our economy. This insane idea that the government's going to print money that they make up digitally and send it out to people is a Band-Aid. You is. put a Band-Aid on your wrist when you've got a, a, a gunshot in your shoulder, well, good for the wrist, you're going to bleed to death. And that is what is going on with this $1,200 per person bailout.